why are we struggling? What, what's, what can we do to turn that around in your opinion? So I, I think it's, I think, uh, if I were to put this in three or four things, so one, it's revenue generation. I and mean, revenue generation, what aids revenue generation is sort of consistency in golf course conditions, consistency in, in business application, well for business. If you look at the first page in Google right now, half of it is golf course closure discussion. I mean, it's difficult to, we, we've had this for, for years. I think the stability would help significantly. I think there's a time for it, but it sort of ties to revenue. I've told the team, I think the path to 80,000 rounds is, is possible. It may not happen during my work, work time, but I do think restoring this and, and, and preserving going forward, it has a lot of the elements built in ready for success. It's revenue. I, there, there's no scarcity approach to making this work, in my view. So how are you going to get there? So the investment, the foundational investment, aligning stakeholders, I think the offer from the Homeowners Association, in every project that we've sort of seen successful, there's an alignment of stakeholders that includes ownership, anybody that has ancillary benefits that include property values. There's, um, I think it's, like I, said, I alluded to earlier, a totally unsolicited opinion, but I, I do think that once you have alignment, whether we've, in examples where there has not been alignment, I'll speak to one that's public, is Ahwatukee Lakes up in the valley. You have 5,000 homes, and because that golf course has been abandoned, it's, it's ruined the neighborhood. It's caused such civil strife. It killed business before it. That strife has extended where the one building they had left, they burnt down the clubhouse. Somebody burnt down the clubhouse. You know, it's... The civility, and I, I, I think, is essential to stabilize this. Would you advocate a concept of uh, potentially leasing an 18-hole golf course to homeowners and the golfers, and then have the municipality run the other 18-hole? I think if there were, if the I won't, I don't want to speak for. Homeowners, but if that creates a sustainability and a, a partnership could be created that everybody could live with, it could work. It aligns stakeholders. What's that? It aligns stakeholders. It does. It does. I think what's been initially the, the origins of the idea right now with the nearly 1,800 homes for contribution that's been, I think, the, the homeowners associations have discussed is a great step sort of forward to creating. I think that's essential for success, though, either way. Thank <laughs> you.